Hey guys, I know it's been a while since I posted a video, but I've been focusing on school and I've had a lot going on. So, I decided that in today's video, I was going to show you some new products that I've gotten, which are all in here. Some I used, some I haven't. Um, we're going to talk about these and kind of see where I'm at with them. And we'll go from there. So, we're going to start with um we'll start with this it's a let me let me set this down real quick hold on i'll just use my dresser drawer to like set that in this is a believe beauty skin finish tinted moisturizer i have mine in the shade natural it's kind of a mess not kind of it is a mess that's what it looks like um, it, I got a lot on, so it blends out pretty nicely. I need to grab a makeup wipe because this is everywhere. Hold on one sec. Let me see if I can do this without touching anything. Okay, I'm back. my it almost didn't work okay I have a leather chair and uh, my my leg got stuck to the chair but that's what it looks like it looks more natural on the skin but it looks it looks kind of dark on the white but it's the one that matched me the closest so it's the one I went with. It is the lightest one. Actually, I think it's the second lightest. I don't remember. They're discontinuing them anyway. This is the NARS Fiji Light 5. This is the Soft Matte Complete Foundation. They're still in the box. Again, I have mine in Fiji. Oh, shoot. That's a lot. Let me see if I can suck some of that back up. Oh, shoot. Fudge. Hold on. I'm not going to waste this. This was not cheap. I mean, technically, I got it as a sample, but still. I'm going to suck up as much as I can because <laughs> I'm not about to let this go to waste. Let me clean off the top of this, too. Okay. This is in Fiji. Again, it looks pretty dark. I'm going to blend it out that's Fiji it I feel like it'll match me better if it's on my face like obviously my hands are lighter than my face because one I don't self tan but two they don't get the same exposure because like when you're driving you're like your hands are on the steering wheel, but I am right handed. And this is my left hand, so my right hand is on the steering wheel. And my left hand is not. Probably should be. I'm not according to my family. I'm not a very good driver. I think I'm a great driver. That's just where we sit. Okay. Um next up is this um uh, bare minerals powder blush. This one is in the shade Call My Blush. And I think the way this opens is pretty cool. So you have it like this, and then you open it, and then the product is right there. This is... I don't really know how to describe this color. But um, this is what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and do just a quick one swipe swatch for you. That's what that is. That's what that looks like. Um, 
Let's see what else. Oh, this is the Bare Mineral Strength and Length Mascara. It's got a paddle brush. It's an extreme black. Let me let me open this so I can show you the brush. This has bristles and then it looks like this and it's super confusing. I'm gonna have to read the instructions some more, but I think you put it on with like the paddle side and then you brush it through with the bristles. First clean vegan mascara with fortifying Red Clover Peptide Serum Paddle Brush delivers ultimate length and lift with no tugging. Okay, I'm gonna have to try that. This is the Bare Minerals Mineralist Hydra Smoothing Lipstick in the shade Honesty. Cold Press Sea Buckthorn Fruit Oil Mineral Pigments Boosted with Olive Oil Extract Vegan. I'm gluten free. Okay. Let's see what she looks like. Oh, that's pretty. That's a pretty color. Um, let's do just a quick one swipe swatch. This is this is it. I do have like a white tone light up here, so I'm hoping that can help you see things more true to color. Because this big light up here is like super yellow, so I wanted I, I don't know if this is gonna work. I moved. This is my first time filming in this new house. Okay. Um, this is the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil Finishing Powder. If I open this, I guess like this. Oh no, that's the bottom. Maybe if I try opening it from the top. Clean without compromising performance. You guys, this thing is like this big. It it's literally this big compared to the box. Um, full of soft focus finish. This is an original light as air finishing powder. Sets makeup, absorbs oil, and blurs the look of pores for a soft focus finish with no flashback in photo. Okay, um, well, this still has the seal on it. I got these with my last Sephora order when I got the lip kit with my points, and I haven't used them yet. Oh, and then this is the last Fair Minerals thing that came in it. It's a bronzer. This is in Warmth. Let me just go like that. That's that's a pretty bronzer actually. I think it might be too dark for me. I'll have to test it, but we'll see. Okay, this is a Rimmel Stay Matte Concealer in it doesn't say what shade, but it says this long wear formula conceals and hides dark circles and imperfections will con whilst Controlling shine for up to 24 hours. Made in Monaco. Produced for Cody Inc. New York, New York. Okay, reference number. This doesn't say how many months it's good for after it's open either, which is a little bit scary. Okay. Let's see. So that's just a basic swatch. I'm going to blend it out because... You know, people blend their concealer. Okay. It looks a little bit dark, but I'm not going to use it on my under eye because I have a certain um, concealer that I use on my under eye. Also, I think I got a little bronzer mixed in there, so don't mind that. Okay, next up is... Okay, this... Becca First Light Priming Filter. This is the lavender one. And I believe it's supposed to help color correct. Um, 
Yeah, I can't read that tiny, tiny print. Um, it feels kind of moisturizing. Um, definitely feels like something that I would use. Okay. Alright, this is Milani Teddy Bear. Um... That's a one swipe swatch of it. Also, don't mind my watch band. It got bent while I was sleeping and I just didn't take it off. But that's Teddy Bear. Which I bought to go with um, this cinnamon roll butter gloss by NYX. I'm hoping these go together. Oh, yeah, they do. So, this is NYX cinnamon roll. This is Nude Cream by Milani. I have worn this and I do like it. I bought it as a dupe for a Huda Beauty one. I I saw the Sephora kit and I'm like, I can recreate that for less money. So that was part of that. If you want to see that video, let me know. It wasn't the lip kit. It was another one. I can't remember the name of, but it had like a, a primer, a lipstick, an eyeliner, um, a bronzer, or a blush, it was a blush, um, that, that one, that kit, I, I know what I'm talking about, I just can't remember the name of it right now, um, let me actually look it up real quick and see if I can find it, because now it's gonna bother me, okay, so, Fora.com. Favorites. It's a favorites kit. Also, you can totally see the glare of my glasses and I didn't notice that, so I'm gonna hold it down here. I just kind of look like this so that you can't. Reserve online, pick up in store. Here's how it works. Okay, I don't need to do that. I don't want to do I don't want to do that. Favorite. It was the, oh, the makeup must-haves. I'll show you. I'll show you which one I'm talking about. It was this, it was this one. I did a full recreation of it with, you know, the whole, the eyeliner, powder, blush, brow, lipstick primer, mascara, and setting spray. Like, I did a whole, just a whole recreation of it as a drugstore set. So if you want to see that, I can definitely do that for you. I need to either take my watch off or stop getting lipstick on it. Okay, uh, next is uh, this Mirad Invisibler. Perfecting shield. It's just sunscreen. I need to use it. I haven't yet. I keep meaning to but then I like forget because I have other SPF. Okay, this is an LA Colors Velvet Lip Mousse in Silky. So it looks like this. We're gonna see how this looks. See what kind of shade it is. Ooh, that's pretty. The stopper is like half out of the thing. Okay. So this is what it looks like. I'm not sure how it's going to dry down. We'll see together. Then I have these two other LA Colors lipsticks. This one is in bright pink. And this one is in nectarine. So we're going to try bright pink first. That's bright pink. That was a one swipe swatch. And then nectarine. Ooh, ooh! I almost, I almost broke it. What is on my hand? I don't know. Okay. And then a one swip swatch of nectarine. I'm probably gonna end up decluttering nectarine just because it's orange. 
and I don't look good in orange. But um, yeah, that that's everything. Um, like I said, if you want to see that video of my recreation of the Sephora must-haves kit. Yeah, I think it just dries down moussey. It doesn't dry down matte. But um, if you do want to see that, please let me know and I will go ahead and film that for you. Otherwise, uh, thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye.